guys, welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. Well, tonight's video is inspired by you guys yet again. Uh, due to some recent crazy weather in Orlando, it has prompted you guys to ask me a lot of questions regarding hurricane season at Disney World. And I do hope hurricane season is behind us at least right now. But for those of you who are planning for the future, you're planning for next year, you're planning for the year after that. A lot of you are asking me questions about hurricane season because either A, you want to avoid it, or you want to know what to do in case a hurricane does indeed come and you're on your vacation or you're ready to leave for your vacation. So it's just bringing up a whole bunch of uh, questions regarding hurricane season. And since hurricane season is fresh in our minds, I thought I would go ahead and just do this video for you guys, for those of you who are planning ahead for the following years, yes? Okay, so all the questions I'm getting, of course, we're gonna try to answer them all in this video, but biggest question, of course, when is hurricane season, obviously, and then can another hurricane happen, yeah? If a hurricane happens, what will ha what will Disney do? Like, will Disney close? Will I get a refund? If Disney decides to close, or if a hurricane's on the horizon, can I get a refund? And if I decide to stay, right, and stay on Disney property, is that even safe? I mean, is that really the best thing to do, or should I just cancel and hope for a refund? And what if I just, you know, I got a lot going on in my life, I got little kids, I got grandma and grandpa coming with us, whatever. What if I just want to avoid a hurricane all together? How can I just avoid a hurricane when planning my next Disney vacation? And then the question I never get, but I think is very important, is how do I pack or prepare for a hurricane? Because oftentimes, you know, we've been planning these trips for months and months and months, years. Multiple people are involved. You're paid in full. You're super duper excited. And Mother Nature just does its thing. And all of a sudden, a little something is brewing and headed towards Orlando or Florida in general. And you're getting a little scared and a little freaked out. But you don't want to miss out on your Disney World vacation. I get that 100%. So the question you guys aren't asking me is how do I plan or prepare for that should a heavy storm or a tropical something or a hurricane actually be headed to Florida while I'm on my Disney vacation? So we're gonna get to all of that and more in this video as we 100% discuss hurricane season, tropical storm season, and just dealing with like heavy rain season in the Florida Orlando area. You guys with me? Let's hop to it. So again, the first question is, Nina, when is hurricane season? Well, you guys might be a little shocked to know, hurricane season is actually six months out of the year. That's right, it's kind of hard to avoid a hurricane when six months out of the year, Mother Nature could just get crazy. That's right, anywhere between June and November, that's the end of November. All of November is considered hurricane season with kind of September being the peak of that. But as we saw with uh, Ian and Nicole, yeah, it doesn't always follow suit, right? It doesn't always just stick to September. So of course with that, the other question I get is, well, can another hurricane happen and hit Disney? Yes, yes it can. Again, mother nature has, she has her own way about her. She does whatever she wants when she wants it. And yes, another hurricane could indeed happen. Hopefully not this year. I, I think we're done for this year. But yeah, depending on when you watch this video and when your trip is, yes, another hurricane could indeed come. But I'll let you know it's not common. It really isn't. I realize we had Ian and Nicole this year, but that was really rare. Ian especially was very rare for a hurricane to actually hit and make landfall in the Orlando area. I mean, that is just not very common. In fact, Orlando is considered one of the safest places in the Florida area to the fact that people, you know, who are near the ocean, they actually will flock to Orlando and kind of make that their safe haven place to be. 
especially because Orlando is considered more inland than some of the other, you know, Florida areas. And because of its tourist attractions, there's just so many hotels that pretty much people from all the other Florida areas can pretty much always get a hotel room in the Orlando area. And like I said, it is really, really rare for a hurricane to make landfall in actual Orlando, which of course brings up the next question, right? All right, Nina, so I planned my trip and unfortunately a hurricane is indeed coming. Is Disney gonna close their parks? Like, is my trip ruined? Like, what is going to gonna happen, right? So yes, first question is yes. Disney will absolutely 100% close the parks and Disney Springs and the water parks and whatever they need to close that they feel is that's just the safest option. They are gonna do the best thing they can for not only their guests, but their cast members. If Disney doesn't think it's safe, they will 100% close it, but it's rare. It really is rare. I mean, Ian, they, sh they closed down for just a couple of days, but then again, that hurricane actually made landfall. For Nicole, they were just kind of being prepared. And they only closed down for a few hours, like a delayed opening kind of thing. So it wasn't a huge deal. And I think I remember for Irma, they had closed down for one day, but then they reopened because they realized they really didn't get as much damage as expected. I mean, I really feel like they closed down just to make sure they can keep all the coasters and the trees and everything nice and safe. And that way they don't have cast in the theme parks as well. They're just trying to be, you know, do the best thing they can, but it's rare. They don't usually close down and they don't usually close down for a long period of time. They want you in their theme parks. They want to reopen as quickly as possible. So just kind of note that even though yes, 100%, they will close down the parks. It's not very common. It is kind of rare. So just, yeah, don't worry about it so much. But for those of you who are just trying to be extra cautious, uh, due to Ian, because there was a landfall in Orlando, they did close down a couple of resorts. So if I was extra concerned, I just wouldn't book at these three resorts. First one was Fort Wilderness. Now Fort Wilderness is Disney's camping resort. Uh, people are actually camping on the dirt in tents. So yeah, not really the safest place to be during a hurricane. So Disney 100% closed down Fort Wilderness. Why? Again, people are you know camping on the ground. There's dirt everywhere. That means floods and mud and ugh, gross. And trees, so many trees and forests around that you know those trees can fall down. They could hit a cast member. They could hit a guest. They could ruin your tent, whatever. Disney did the safest thing by closing down Fort Wilderness. They did the same thing with the Saratoga Springs tree houses. Now they didn't close down all of Saratoga Springs, just the actual tree houses. Why? Because they're kind of on the waterfront a little bit. And yes, they are surrounded by trees. The same thing with uh, Wilderness Lodge. Wilderness Lodge has uh, cabins, uh, standalone cabins, again, on the waterfront, lots of trees about. So. You know, same kind of thing. Also, the bungalows at the Polynesian were closed down. Same general concept. On the water, trees about. They just want to keep everyone safe, guys. That's all. So, yeah, all of Polynesian wasn't closed. All of Wilderness Lodge wasn't closed. It was just those specific room types or category types that they chose to close down probably so they could prep them and keep them as safe as possible, but also not have to worry about guests and cast members being inside those rooms should a storm happen. Does that kind of make sense? But yes, Disney's gonna 100% do what they feel is safest, but note they are working their tail feathers off to get everything back up and running. So if they do close down, they will not be closed down for long. But of course that brings up the next question, right? Ah, oh, Nina, what, can I just get a refund? Like I booked the trip, I did the thing, but ah, I, I can't get there. I, I'm nervous, I'm afraid, my flight was canceled. Can I just get a refund? Easy answer is kind of sort of. Disney did indeed allow a few people to get refunds. They did spend a good chunk of time trying to get people to change dates and relocate their trip to a different date 
or if they were at one of those resorts that was closed down, they did try to get people at a different resort. In general, Disney doesn't want you to cancel. They don't want to cancel. They want to try to move you and put you somewhere else, especially after months and months and months, even up to a year of planning a trip. You don't just want to cancel flat out, right? So they did a lot of date changing, but... For those of you who are really, really concerned about the refund, Disney does have a hurricane policy in place. Now, it's not always in effect, but it's in place. So, should the National Weather Service or whoever it is declare Orlando kind of a hurricane warning area, Disney will usually put forth that hurricane policy, which allows you, if this hurricane warning is happening within seven days of your trip, that you can indeed cancel for a refund without all of those fees. The same uh, policy does come into place if you are living in an area that has a hurricane warning and you can't physically get to Orlando, the same kind of thing happens. Again, I'm gonna pop up the policy. All good things you should discuss with Disney directly, but the policy clearly states that this only covers people who book directly with Disney or people who have booked with a travel agent like myself, someone who works for an authorized Disney vacation planning agency, right? A Disney travel agency, an earmarked agency. Those people are also booking directly with Disney. Therefore, you would be covered if you book with one of those travel agents. Basically, they're saying if you book some weird third party non-Disney affiliated website, you know, cheaphotels.com. I don't need to name them all. You know the ones I'm talking about? Yeah, you're not gonna be covered. You need to book directly with Disney for that hurricane policy to come into play. So that's a little key there. Next thing, of course, is, well, what if I'm staying off property and I just have park tickets? Can I get a refund? Disney doesn't really wanna give you a refund, right? So Disney was automatically extending those park tickets. Like you don't have to wait on hold for hours. You don't have to stand in a long line at guest services. If a hurricane indeed is coming, that hurricane policy is in place, Disney was automatically extending those park tickets to be good for another year. So next year, so those people who missed out on using all their park tickets, they get to go within the next year and use those tickets. Now, did some people get a refund? Yes, I'm sure, again, situation depending, but in general, Disney doesn't wanna give you a refund. They wanna extend your park ticket so you can come back and have your magical vacation. But for those of you who are looking for my best advice, first of all, 100% book directly with Disney, right? Stay on Disney property, yes, because that will get you the better uh, help there with the refunds with the hurricane policy. You definitely want to get that trip protection insurance because depending on something happening to you, but an actual hurricane policy isn't exactly in place at Disney, that trip protection insurance is what's going to hopefully help cover you. Again, you want to research uh, that insurance independently, but yes, I 100% always suggest you get that extra trip protection insurance, especially if you're worried about sicknesses, illnesses, hurricanes, whatever. Also, you need to know that uh, Disney was automatically waiving cancellation fees. So a lot of people were kind of hogging up the phone lines because they're worried about their Cinderella's Royal Table reservation, you know, which they paid in full for and they can't go because the parks are closed or they're too scared or whatever. Disney was automatically waiving those cancelization fees for things like dining and Savi's Workshop and Bippity Boppity Boutique. So just again, no, Disney wants to help. They want to cover you and help you out as best they can. So they were waiving all those cancellation fees for people who couldn't come or, you know, things got delayed or whatever. But I do have to warn, every situation is different. Just because Mother Nature is brewing a storm on the side doesn't mean you get to cancel and automatically get a refund. Their hurricane policy needs to be in place, which means an actual hurricane needs to actually be happening in the Orlando area. So just don't automatically assume, you know, tropical storm, heavy rain, free, you know, refund. No, you got to double check with Disney on that. But in general, unless the hurricane policy is in place, an actual hurricane is indeed making landfall in Orlando or flights are canceled, stuff like that. Yeah, 
you're not going to get a refund. So just kind of know that in, in general, right? So again, double check with Disney or, you know, your travel agent. Next question is, okay, Nina, we planned a trip, blah, blah, blah. We're really excited. We're not afraid of rain. What if we decide to go? Is it safe? I mean, is it safe to really go to Disney during a hurricane? The answer in general is yes. Yes, it is. Disney is very safe. They are 100% built and prepared and even designed for hurricanes or crazy weather situations. In fact, Disney itself is considered the safe haven of the Orlando area. People, like I said, will flock from all over and purposely book hotel rooms at Disney so they can kind of hanker down at Disney in a Disney hotel during a hurricane. The resorts are 100% safe, right? With the exceptions of the ones I mentioned earlier. And they have backup generators. So no one in those rooms are losing power. In fact, during Ian, I don't think one person, one room lost power. At least I didn't hear of it. So yes, Disney is 100% very safe. If they think something is not safe, they're gonna close it down, they're gonna relocate, they're gonna do whatever they, they need to do to keep it as safe as possible. So with Disney being considered the safe haven of the Orlando or Florida area, yeah, I say kind of live it up as best you can, right? I mean, what's that saying? A rainy day at Disney is better than a regular boring whatever day at back home, right? Yeah, so. But for those of you who this just makes you very nervous, the next question of course is, well, how can I just avoid it? Again, I'm bringing babies and grandma and grandpa and we're, we got all this stuff and I just don't want to deal with it, Nina. How can I just avoid a hurricane? I get this question a lot. You can't really avoid the hurricane because mother nature, she, she does her own thing. I guess the best thing to do if you want to avoid it is to just not book June through November. So you're kind of limiting yourself. Now you're stuck to half of the year which is also busy and hot. So yeah, it's kind of hard to 100% avoid a hurricane because we just don't know. Weather could be perfect, just beautiful. And all of a sudden you've got a storm brewing over here in the corner and yep, then, it, then it's you know coming about to Florida. So yeah, unfortunately you really can't avoid it unless you avoid hurricane season altogether. And even then, you still could get a heavy rainstorm, right? So I think the best thing to really do is not worry so much about hurricane season, but just make sure you do all the right planning and preparing things, which we'll get into. But like I said, book directly with Disney or an authorized Disney vacation planner, right? Get the extra trip protection insurance. Avoid the hotels that we know Disney is kind of most likely gonna cancel or close down if a heavy storm comes about. I mean, you can kind of do those things to help you out. So should your trip actually become uh, hurricane warning worthy, at least you're prepared. At least you did all the things that you could possibly think of to do to avoid that hurricane as best you can. I mean, really, that's the best thing I can say because six months out of the year, that's a, that's a lot of potential hurricane season. And even when it's not hurricane season, Florida is known for their crazy storms, which, yeah, a lot of people don't wanna deal with uh, during their vacation, but it kinda is what it is. It's Orlando, it's, it's kinda what you get, right? So the next course question is, okay, Nina, I did the best I can. I tried to plan around it, but, what do I do if I find myself at Disney or about to go to Disney during a hurricane or a tropical storm, which might turn into a hurricane or just a bunch of rain? I mean, what can I do to prepare? So assuming you already did all the other things we talked about, you booked directly with Disney or an authorized Disney vacation planner, right? You got the trip protection, you avoided the hotels. We know Disney is gonna shut down during a hurricane what else you can do, right? So your flight hasn't been canceled, you're going to Disney, what should you put in your suitcase? How should you prepare? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you check the app. Since Disney has boosted the My Disney Experience app, all the things were automatically put on the app. So when Ian and Nicole was happening, and of course I had clients there, all I did was check the app. I was checking the app a lot. 
and all of a sudden their hurricane policy came into place. It actually said it on the app. So I knew that if I had a client that was worried or concerned, I knew I could tell them where the policy's in place. If they decided to close down a park or shut something down early or they adjusted their park hours, it was all on the app. If they decided to waive cancellation fees, it was all on the app, on the home screen. So make sure if you're at Disney and you're in the middle of all of this, to keep checking the app. Don't wait in line at guest services. All the other people who don't know about the app are gonna be in that line. You just go straight to the app. I found the app to be more full of knowledge than even some cast members. Nothing, if, nothing against the cast members, love them, but sometimes they don't even know that something is happening because Disney does it and doesn't always tell everyone. But when it's on the app, it's legit. It's happening, so check the app. And of course, the other tip I have is just try to have fun, right? Just try to maximize the fun. Hopefully, you have low waits because there were a bunch of people that had to cancel, probably because their flight got delayed or canceled. They had to cancel, but you, you're there. Try to enjoy it. Try to enjoy the low waits. Try to do the best you can, even if there's rain, you know, go to the parks because if the park's closing tomorrow, go to the park today, do the best you can, and just try to make the most of it. But of course, with all of this said, you do need to pack accordingly. So here is my packing tips and tricks. If you are headed to Disney World during a hurricane, tropical storm, or just kind of heavy, crazy rain season, right? Mother Nature's doing its crazy thing and Orlando's getting affected. This is what you should do. First, 100%, I talk about it all the time, ponchos, umbrellas, rain jackets. Umbrellas is kind of one of those weird ones because again, if it's windy, guess what happens to that umbrella? <laughs> I mean, you're gonna go off, you're gonna take off in flight. But 100% those ponchos, those rain jackets, do you best you can get that rain protection. Next thing up, of course, you need to think about your feet. So water shoes. Maybe even wear your swim trunks, right? Do whatever you can. You know it's raining. The wind is going to be blowing. That rain is going to get on you. You're going to get wet. Try to protect everything you possibly can to, you know, to deal with the rain, right? So your ponchos, your rain jacket, your rain shoes, even wear your bathing suit underneath, wear your swim trunks, whatever you need to do. Pack extra socks, extra clothes, right? You want extra socks, extra undies, and anything that can kind of just get wet, right? You don't wanna be walking around in that wet sock all day. Do a few change outs so that way when you get back to the resort and you're soaking wet, change your socks, change your undies, do what you need to do, but pack a few of extra of those things that tend to get wet. Even, you know, your t-shirts. Did you know they make a backpack poncho? That's right, absolutely. If your poncho does not cover your backpack and your backpack has all these things in it, I mean, my husband is guilty. Mr. wears a rain jacket and then doesn't think about the backpack and the backpack gets soaking wet, which includes everything inside of it, yes. So I hooked him up with a backpack poncho, that's right. So yes, look into it, backpack poncho, 100% a thing. The big thing here is you also need to prepare, be prepared for food. So as Disney parks close, right, that includes all the dining at the parks, but then also what if you're in your room, you're stuck in your room, you don't wanna go to the lobby and get more food, right, because they're either A, the restaurant could be closed, or B, there could be so many people in line to get that food, you don't wanna wait in that line. Maybe you don't wanna leave your building to go to another building because you're just gonna get plummeted with water, right? You don't wanna get soaking wet. So this is what you wanna do to prepare for your actual room. If you are already at Disney and a big storm or a hurricane is coming, you know, go ahead and order from Amazon. Call a local delivery service and have them deliver you these foods so you can be prepared in your actual room. Does this make sense? You want to think extra snacks, shelf stable snacks as best you can. I mean, granola bars, absolutely. How about breakfast the next morning? Go down to the lobby, get extra cereal and milk and orange juice. Grab bagels and donuts, you know, buy Pop-Tarts. Whatever you need to do, don't forget about snacks and breakfasts 
And anything that you can do that's like a to-go lunch kit, go to those, uh, you know, your dining locations and see if they have pre-made sandwiches or pre-made salads, any of those things you can kind of buy now that are pre-packaged to go, take them to your room and put them in your mini refrigerator. Don't forget about water, lots of backup water, backup juice, whatever it is you drink, make sure you have it in your room. Does that make sense? The next thing a lot of people don't really think about is entertainment. Now I talk about packing entertainment for the parks and that's great. But if you're in the middle of a hurricane or a tropical storm and you're kind of stuck in your hotel room for a couple of hours, you want to think of entertainment for your room. Even just something as simple as a deck of cards, a puzzle, a board game, anything like that that you can do to entertain yourself and the kiddos could be key. Make sure you charge all the things that you need to charge. Maybe you brought like a Nintendo Switch with you. Make sure everything is fully charged so that you definitely 100% can keep playing those games. How about Legos? Go run to Disney Springs, go to the Lego store, buy Legos, put Legos together as a family inside your room. I mean, really anything you can do to kind of entertain yourselves during a storm could be key, right? Again, Disney never really lost power, but that doesn't mean cable won't get a little weird on the TV. So just kind of think of those things. Uh, next thing up, if you're really, really extra worried, if a hurricane is definitely happening, it's not just a storm, it's a big thing, right? You want to stock up on extra towels. Go to housekeeping a little bit before everyone else realizes it and get extra towels, get extra Kleenex, get extra toilet paper. That's right, just in case we just don't know, go ahead and get extra of those things. If a hurricane doesn't really happen, it turns, it moves, then you, you use that stuff anyway. Just get a little backup. Ice. If super duper worried, hit up the ice machine before everyone else does. Put ice in your ice bucket. If you're really truly afraid that Disney's gonna lose power, you can actually fill your bathtub with ice and stick all your water bottles and whatnot in the ice in your bathtub. Again, this could be a little bit on the extreme side, but I know some people are on the extra nervous side and that's just something you can at least have in your head as a backup you know, light bulb to think about should it get that crazy or perhaps you're not staying on Disney property and your hotel might not have a backup generator. So yeah, fill your tub with ice and put all of your things inside there. But that's why you wanna think of shelf stable. You want to think of things that aren't going to go bad that don't require you to have a refrigerator. Does that make sense? I mean, in the end, what you really want to do is just try to make the most of it. So you went to the park while it was still open. You're wearing your ponchos and your water shoes and your swim trunks. And then you got back to the room and you had your water and your snacks and all your food and you're ready. Try to make the most of it. Just note that if you're staying at a Disney hotel, Disney tends to entertain guests in the lobby, which means characters, dance parties, and you know games, and all sorts of fun things are happening in the lobby. Disney is trying to entertain you. They know you wanna to go to the parks. The parks are closed. They're gonna to try to bring the parks to you as best they can in the lobby. So lots of really awesome obscure characters will be dancing, playing games, doing all sorts of magic. A lot of the resorts have arcades. I even heard that Disney was shutting down the payment thing in the arcade and letting families and kids play for free. So that's just an awesome, great thing. So you really just wanna do the best you can. Enjoy the lobby as best you can. Try to hold down the fort in your hotel room. You know, watch TV, film the storm, share the storm with others via social media. I mean, do the best thing you can. Make a different type of family memory. Does this make sense? And if you're extra, extra worried, just note that another one of my tips is, is when you're planning a Disney vacation, you're worried about a hurricane or you can only go during so-called hurricane season. You can also book your hotel room to be the type of Disney hotel that's connected to the lobby. So if a hurricane or tropical storm or big rainstorm, whatever happens to come around, you don't have to worry about walking from your building to the lobby building. Some of Disney's resorts, the lobby has hotel rooms in it, so you won't have to go very far and you're indoors. 
For example, Animal Kingdom Lodge, the lobby's kind of in the center, right? And it's built kind of like a horseshoe. And then they have rooms outside of the lobby and up. That would be an excellent resort to purposely book if you're worried about hurricane season, but yet that's the only time you can go and you just want to avoid getting wet going in and out of buildings, that would be a good option for you. So just kind of other things to think about to plan and prepare in case you are involved with some heavy, crazy rain during your Disney vacation. Hopefully this makes sense, guys. And then of course, the next question I get is, well, I'm just curious, Nina, what has actually happened to Disney during a hurricane, right? So we know that Ian did indeed hit Orlando and then a little bit later was Nicole. Nicole was a little bit more mild. Actually, she was a lot more mild than Ian was. I mean, what what is really happening to Disney, right? So of course, Disney isn't really telling us if something majorly has blown away or gotten destroyed in the storm, but most of the people will come and tell you that really it's just debris. It's some trees have fallen, leaves have scattered, dirt is everywhere, certain resorts might flood a little bit. But as far as we know, Disney really hasn't been impacted very big per these hurricanes. Uh, when, when Ian happened, a few of the rides weren't fully opened yet uh, the next day. Not sure why, perhaps they couldn't get cast. Or perhaps, you know, some facade of the building kind of fell off. Whatever reason, Disney didn't feel it was safe to open up those particular rides. Uh, and so they delayed that a little bit. But in general, they're doing the best they can. The, the cleanup crew is there. All that they're really dealing with is debris and making sure Disney is nice and clean and safe for you guys when it's time to reopen. But here are my tips, right? My last few tips. In general, just try to be understanding. It's your vacation. I 100% get that. You planned and you planned and you planned and you spent so much money and it's your vacation, right? But just remember that the cast, the cast members are living it too. This is their home. You're on vacation in Orlando, but they're living in Orlando. So as you're desperate and excited for the parks to reopen and you want your money's worth of your vacation, just note that that cast member could be really worried about their home, their car, their family, who could be impacted or affected by the storm or the hurricane that's happening right now. So just try to be really understanding and gentle. The cast that are there are doing the best they can. They're trying to make new, different memories with you and your kids, so try not to get too upset with them. It's not their fault, they're not mother nature, right? So for those of you who ask, Nina, what would you do? Well, I would probably go. I would probably not cancel. I would, in fact, I, I have been to Disney during a potential hurricane, during a tropical storm. I did not cancel, I just go and do the things I'm suggesting you guys do. Pack the ponchos and the water shoes and make the most of it, be prepared. I feel like the more prepared you are, the more you're not worried about it because you know you're prepared. You know if you get stuck in your room, you've got the food, you've got the water, it's not an issue to you. So I feel like being prepared is just the best way to just kind of let some of it go. But I get it. It's a lot of rain, a lot, a lot of rain. But I, I think the only reason I personally would say cancel and not go is if my flight was affected. If for some reason, you know, like MCO did shut down uh, for Ian for a couple of days, obviously I can't go on my vacation if I can't get to Orlando, if my flight is canceled. So in that situation, per my calendar and my situation, I'll either change my dates for months later, or if I can just go a day later or two days later, again, everyone's situation and calendar and things are depending. But yes, in general, I would go, my family would go. We would absolutely go and make the most of it. As long as we were going a day before the storm and we could actually fly in, absolutely. Just be prepared and just try to make the most of it. I mean, it is what it is, right? That's just kind of how I feel. I know not everyone feels that way. And in the end, just remember that Disney is a super safe place to be during a storm.
They just are. They are built for that. Disney 100% has their guests' best interests at heart. They are going to do the best they can to keep you happy and entertained and safe. I think safe is key here. And I think the more, like I said before, I think the more prepared you are, the easier it is for you to relax and kind of go with the flow. So for me, any particular storm or crazy weather that is upon us, I 100% make sure I have the food and the water and I'm prepared because I know that other people will not be. And I know things like guest services, dining, any form of food, anything like that, the lines are gonna be super duper long. And at some point the dining will close. So if you're prepared, then you don't have to worry about that. You can just worry about the fun and find the characters and do the fun things. You don't have to be a giant stress ball because you're trying to feed everyone or you're trying to get food or you're trying to get answers, right? Again, check the app, the My Disney Experience app. Remember, I have a whole video on it was 100% updating itself during both Ian and Nicole. Everything about the hurricane policy, who gets to cancel, who gets a refund, what the tickets, you know, thing that they're gonna do with the extending the date of the tickets, waiving cancellation fees, all the things that they had in place were on the app, on the home screen. It automatically showed up. So as long as you did the best you could, right? You're staying at a Disney hotel, hopefully, if you can, you book directly with Disney or with an authorized Disney vacation planner. You got the trip protection insurance, you avoided the hotels that we know, or hotel categories that we know tend to close down. You did the best you can. Just try to enjoy it. Just try to enjoy it the best you can and know that it will get better. As soon as Disney can open, as soon as it's safe, you get to go head to the parks, usually with a low weight because of all the people that had to cancel, that makes the parks low weight. So again, I hope this video helped you out. I mean, in the end, I say don't worry about it too much because out of all the days of the year, that Hurricane Ian, mm, it's hard to say. I feel really bad for the people who live in Orlando whose homes and lives and cars and all those things were 100% affected. It was really awful and really sad. But for those of you who are worried about your vacation, Disney's got your back. Disney is a safe place to be. If needed, if an actual hurricane is coming down, Disney's hurricane policy will come into play. So just try not to stress and worry about it. But like I said, if you're ultra nervous, avoid the things I mentioned, do the extra things I mentioned, go a different time of year and just do the best you can. But in the end, if weather hits Disney, just be prepared. So yeah, guys, I hope you found this video um, helpful. I know it's not the most perky of all videos, but for those of you who are planning your Disney vacations, I know you're worried about this. I know you're wondering about this and you just wanna know, you know what could happen should a hurricane or a tropical storm you know, affect your vacation. But yeah, guys. I hope, I hope you found this helpful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for, not for notifications, like this video, and comment. Have you been to Disney during one of their hurricane or tropical thunderstorms where Disney was sorta maybe shut down in preparation, maybe sorta? Let me know experiences uh, you had. And for those of you who, uh, yeah, would, what would you do if a hurricane was coming, but your flight was not canceled? Would you go? Would you be like Nina and go anyway and try to make the most of it? Or are you someone who's like, nope, won't go near it. Don't even want to deal with it. I am a cancel and rebook. I'm just curious, guys. It's just conversation. But yeah, I love hearing from you guys. Let me know in the comments. But as always, mahalo for watching. Nina out. Bye, guys. Oh.